first round KOs. While the opposition might be questionable, Tua calls this the most important fight of his career. It's the last assignment before the fight for the world titles with Lennox Lewis. Daniels not overly fast, can be lazy, can be out quick, which could be a major problem versus a guy like Tua. With Tua, all it takes sometimes is one punch, but uh, just for the record, Daniels never down. I talked to Robert Davis briefly last night. He said, listen, I know I can't punch with this guy. I got to make him miss, and I got to counter, and I got to move, and I got to make him miss, get him tired, take him in the later rounds. But I just don't know that he has anything to keep too often. And those punches, if you can absorb them all day, they're going to be pain. So it goes right at him, going upstairs and to the body. Look at the power behind these punches, and Daniels is down, seconds in. If you watch there, Daniels never Eight. offered up one piece of Nine. offense. Didn't fire an uppercut, didn't fire up, didn't right. give to anything to worry about. Coming back. Around the 38 second mark of the first round, Daniels right. Right. Get him out. took get him out a knee. Alright, bring him up. Tua comes out, like he always comes out, swarming. Daniels needs to use more foot movement and step around, jab, and fire. He can't just stand with his back on the ropes. Two or one more of them. He said he's got to move to his left, use the jab angles, don't get caught on the ropes, but a rugged start for Daniels. Look at those tree stumps for legs for David Two. Two again, wailing away with uppercuts, the forgotten punch. Going to the body. Daniels isn't making him move. Tua can just punch when he wants to punch, not punch when he doesn't feel like it. Daniels not making him pay for anything. Daniels, a human punch punching bag, not showing any movement, standing right in front of Tua and getting up, back. Up, up, my man. We approach the final minute of round one. Can Daniels make it out of the first round? Come on, give him, give him punches up, man. Almost everything Tua throws, landing with authority. There's that left uppercut that gets through the defense. A little left hook there by Daniels finally. He almost looks like he's taking uh, his time down and just the the having a gym workout. Daniels isn't making him pay for anything. Guys. He needs to put some power behind a couple of shots and see not only what this two have in his chin, although I'm pretty sure he's got the stuff. When I saw him like Gabi Abucci, not only was I impressed with the way I got Abucci looked, but it was because of that fight I know how good two is that I know just how good Gabi Abucci is. Oh, stop, stop. Come on, keep them up, man. Keep them up. Keep them up. A little cautioning from Joe Cortez to David Tua to keep the punches up. As we head for the bell, Daniels survives the opening oh. round, but he did go down early. How you feel? How you feel, baby? All right, listen. I don't like you putting in the rope. You need to move. I'm working hard with your body. Hey, what are you waiting? What are you waiting for? With this guy. Working hard with your body. I'm going for the middle. Come on, my man. Thank you. Come in. Very powerful David Tua goes right to Daniels and puts his back to the ropes and doesn't really offer up any offense to make Tua worry about it. And Tua just starts working. Right hands around, left uppercuts, and he catches him one good body shot right here. Hey, my and man, Tua puts him on right. the camera. Pretty safe right. to don't say worry, uh, Mr. Worry, Daniels has him. never felt this kind of wrath right, or power out, before. Hey, and Daniels looked right to his corner. I watched him look at his eyes, looked okay. He nodded, he was clear. But he has a world of fight in front of him. Cuban oh, Carlos saw oh, oh. uh, Bernie in the corner of Daniels oh, exhorting him on, but might be futile. Round two, it's scheduled for 12. Daniels down 38 seconds of the first round. Off of the rock. By Tua. This is like a workout for Tua. No, and again, Daniels, I know I'm saying it over and over, but Daniels isn't stuffing anything hard. He isn't making him pay. He's got to stuff that jab and fire right hand. See if he can hurt Tua. Tua just out, strengthening, overpowering. Daniels. 
Yeah, watch your head to the side, guy. Watch your head. Keep the punches up. Well, at least we got out of the first round of the fight. There, Danis threw an overhand right with a little mustard on it. He needs to do more of that. Take a shot. Put himself in a position to get some damage done out of his own. To his manager, Kevin Barry, said they're pretty close to a signed deal with Lennox Lewis. They'll work out the final details starting August 1st. Uh oh, big right uppercut to the jaw by Tua. Another one. Tua hurt him with that right uppercut. Daniels down once again for the second time in two rounds. Four, five, Gets up quickly. Six. You see in his eyes, they glazed over a little bit that right uppercut really caught him up. Cortez asking Daniels how you feel and just a quick nod of approval by Daniels, but he can't be feeling too good. The two are not showing that he's in any hurry, taking his time, waiting him behind a light jab, not really pressing the issue. Yeah, this is a lot more patient than we've seen him. It's a, a lot while. more patient than I'd be, I tell you right now. <laughs> Again, those spiraling right uppercuts are getting into the chin of Daniels. He said he was working on those uppercuts. In training. Their Daniels did come off the work with a nice left hook. Didn't land. We need to do more of that. Tua fought 65 rounds of the last five weeks in preparation. Tua with a big support group from his native Samoa. Shots to the head by Tua with the left hand. Double left get up, get up, up by Tua. Very powerful. You can watch him bend his knees and dig and turn in with that 240-plus pound. Daniels trying to answer back. But again, to no avail. Tua just smiles at him. Final seconds of the second round. Daniels has been down twice in the first two. It's a water. Let's go for the barrage of punches on this guy now, okay? Not just one. You can't just give me one shot, Tua. Now look, you're hurting him with the uppercut now. What happened to my yeah, double on this side? You're hitting too much on the hip now. Watch it again. Look, what happened to my double? Boom, the body first and then the uppercut. Okay. Then finish off with the hook in the right hand. Body. Tua working him on the ropes. There's a nice left oh, uppercut. Right. He stuffs in there. And there's the right uppercut. That caught Daniels. That hurt him. And he gets hit with another one. There's a second one. That one really, you can see, it stood him up and really took his legs out from under him. And I saw in his eyes, because he's not far from him, Steve, he was hurt. Oh, second okay. round. Okay. Former okay. fighter Ronnie Shields in the face of David Tua. Last time he went more than two rounds, December of 98 against Hasim Rahman. TKO round 10 in Miami. To his last three fights for one, two, and one round. You know, it almost seems that as when Tua turns it on, he hurts Daniels, gets him in trouble. Then he turns it back off, almost as if he wants a little more work or take his time. That I don't particularly understand. Ronnie Shields in the corner said, listen, I don't need one punch of time. Work him up, work up back. Double, triple, and land the last one. Load up with the left or throw two or three. Muscular strong David Tua pulls it on. Daniels down for a third time in three rounds. Big left uppercut. He hurt Four, Daniels. Daniels five, turned, and he was six, leaving seven, himself extremely wide open. He got eight, really hurt. Nine. He doesn't want to continue, and Joe Cortez has stopped it here. In the early going of round three, Tua wins again. And power to some more drop back to Steve. Power just too big.